Anyway, let's go make another quick save and go sleep at Olin's house, which is... That's, um... That's definitely some, like, reusing, like, assets of the game rather than design a whole new building. They're just like, we'll just use the building we were in earlier in the game. Okay. That's definitely, that's the vibe here. It's like, well, we already have this house model, so we'll just reuse that. Have, have Aloy rest there. Once again, I'm not, like, poo-pooing the game or the developers. I think you need to make these choices in video games on where to focus and sometimes... You might have to. You do, even though we, even though so many games lately have been, you know, bad because of all the excess cut corners. I think you do need to know when to like call it on excessiveness. Feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? Oh man, that is that's such a on the nose of a. This is the final ending. Let's review all of the stuff we could still do. We got a couple of uh, things we missed. We could hunt for the lodge. We got a curious proposal. I don't even remember what that is. We had the whole collateral. Was that the Olin quest, actually? We never did save Olin's family. That's very sad. Oh, we never went to the Frozen Wilds. I think that was something to do with Banuk, so I guess I really should have done that, huh? But I don't know. I'm, I'm okay without doing a DLC thing right now. Uh, there isn't that much stuff left here, actually. I, I, but, I mean, of course, I haven't collected all the all the uh, possible side quests for sure. There's probably still tons of them all over the place. And we never got that awesome costume. Ooh, remember the bunker here with that suit that uh, I think Dr. Sobek was wearing in her final hologram call at Gaia Prime? Oh, we never got that. Yeah. Well, this costume's cool, too, so I can live with it. All right, let's hit the hay. I don't know how Ayla's gonna get any sleep anticipating this giant fight coming our way. Yeah, here we are one more time. No way back. It's for reals, guys. It's time for the ending. It was a big game. But I actually did think it might have actually gone a little bit longer for me. So, this is like episode 70? Alright. That's about what I was expecting this to take. Hmm. How did you rust after you lost your family? Hmm. Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Okay. Main quest is done. Good night. Hey, we can get one more ability from that level up. Yay. Ma'am, there are signs from the west. The Ooh. Sun King of Ard awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. The face of extinction. Yeah, you know, I just now realized when she was talking on the bed like that, I just now realized, oh yeah, this is exactly the situation that uh, Dr. Sobek was in, fighting to stop the swarm. Although this time it's, you know, it's still sleeping, so that's good. Mm, Avad isn't looking super sure. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. What is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. What, what is it? Oh my... Wow! How? Oh, here we go, then. Oh, this is what it looked like. This is must be what it looked like hundreds of years ago when this was happening. Oh my god. The Deathbringers you spoke of. To the guns. To the guns. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of guns. Now! By the sun, do as she says. Let's go. Three of these things. Will the guns hold them back? Oh. 
Oh god. What are they firing with? What the? Wait. How? Where did he come from? No. Rally the vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no. We need those guns. He will cut you down. Not this time. D he's just a guy. I'm not even that scared. Hey. One more repel. You have fixed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sunray then. Oh shit! These are bad guys. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I need a fire arrow. Oh my god. I wasn't really paying attention, was I? I was like, oh god. There's like lots of bad guys. I thought these were friendlies. Why did I shoot them with a fire arrow? Am I an idiot? Answer may surprise you. No weapons on them? Okay, yeah, it's just this one guy with the machine gun. Oh shit, is that Helis? It is Helis. Which means he is not easy to take out. Oh shoot, this is so bad. Helis, you need to like sit down for like a hot second. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ooh! He's got steady fire going, that guy. He just ate through that. Alright, Helis, your turn. Dude, look at how he's just walking there. Wait, what? He just swatted that thing. Oh shit, are you. Do you mean to tell me that arrows do nothing against this man? Oh, oh. Oh, he's got explosive meat. Okay. Am I out of potions? Kind of looking that way, isn't it? Locked again. Well, he's knocked down. Barely knocked down for a second. Okay, okay, okay. This calls for some bigger ordnance. First of all, let's get some skills. Um... No, that's not that crazy. What can I do? Leader strike. No, it's not going to help at this point. What could be really easy? I don't know what's really good at this point. Maybe this, because I like using the arrow. We're just going to get that real quick, and then let's rock. Eh. Actually, first, let's craft. I can't craft anything. That's not good. No, what I really wanted was I need some explosives, so let's... Actually, no. And I mean explosives. Ah! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Huh! He's quick. Yeah, he's pretty quick. Can I get him near one of the... What, what, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, you're on fire, aren't you? Jesus, that barely did anything to him. Oh, he's just using fire arrows. I just thought he was firing explosive arrows. Let's get some supplies real quick. Hey, L2. Oh! <laughs> All right, Helis. Damn, that wasn't close enough. No, not gonna toss it. All right, fine. You asked for this. Can't take much more of this. Fine, I didn't want to use this, Helis, but oh shit! Let him in close. It's giving way. Oh shit! The bridge. Gotcha! I hope before, if there was a timer here. This was not meant to be. Yeah, that Deathbringer gun kind of made things easy, didn't it? 
Oh my god, should I... I think we should just be this, the ultimate disrespect. You're done. Hades is next. The buried shadow will save me. I cannot... Ah! Yeah. Good luck with that, mate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. That was a rough fight, I guess. Oh, Jesus, they actually did blow up all this stuff. Oh, no. My modification satchel is full. Ah. Okay, okay, healers, just hold on a second. I need to empty my bags here. All right, so he maybe was a little bit tougher than I thought. I, I may have been overhyping my abilities against him, but... Uh... Oh, disassemble. Disassemble. So, yeah, but... Uh... Eh, that was an alright boss fight. Although I have to say that this machine gun really did kind of make things. Like, I don't think I would have beaten him. Especially if there was a secret timer there. I would not have beaten him in time if I hadn't just started emptying on him with it, that uh, big old gun. Yeah, I need all these potions. And let's really quickly do some modifications for our armor here. Where... where... I think Corruption's gonna be good against the freaking robots, and is there anything else? Thinking Resist Ranged was gonna be really good, so we're gonna take that. Now the question is, I did see I had like a spear, make your spear hit harder thing, but I don't know how to modify my spear, it's very annoying, look at this, I don't have any prompts here. Well, anyway, is there any... Let's put a little handling there. I guess not the blast sling. We don't have any damage things for that. Okay. How about this blast sling? Oh, we can. Um, maybe a little bit of freeze. Yeah, I think we're good to go. It's the last minute prep, prep, preparations. All right, it's been real, Helis. Yeah. Oh, and I should also, like all those arrows I shot, I should probably. Especially because the game's now giving supplies. And I think the Karja will forgive me if I partake of their stock now. I got this funny idea that they probably don't mind me getting their equipment, you know, to stop the oncoming apocalypse and everything. Ooh, shoot. Oh, no. It's uh, the Deathbringer just... Lighting up over there. From the radius, hold the line. Where do you need me? Take up a cannon on the platform. All right, sucker. Let's see if I remember these buttons correctly. Didn't quite reach. Let's see a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Drop it and move. Oh really? Uh. Oh shit! I was like, I'm sure I can use this cover. Uh, oh, perfect shot. Machines from the west. I haven't even beaten this guy yet. He's coming closer. Nice. Oh, yeah. Did I break his missile launchers? No, nope, probably not. Oh. Managed to get a couple of shots off. What is that robot? It's a, it's a Ravager, I think. Gotcha. All right, where, where next? Where to next? Did everyone else die? No, it doesn't look like it. Oop, that's for the wrong thingy. There's someone sneaking in from there. This is a crazy-ass tower defense right now. Okay, so, all right, so you want me to go over here? I see now. Yeah, but there's cannons here. Oh shit, Deathbringer incoming. So we really only ever fought two Deathbringers. Well, I guess we could have fought like a lot more. There were a couple sneaking around back in the... Uh, back in uh, the Noralands. But like... Oh shit! Got the Deathbringers attention. I gotta arc these a little bit more. This is some crazy tower defense, isn't it? I see now what's going on here. Oh, 
All right, tough guy. A uh, little short, a little short. Oh. I keep uh, letting go a little too slowly from my uh, Asaram cannon. Oh shit, it's at machine gun range. Well, that's not, that's not gonna do at all. Were they always this huge? Look at this big guy. Oh, oh, oh. I saw it coming that time. Oh shoot, where did you guys come from? Where the heck did these boys come from? There we go. Freaky sorry guys, I don't know where they they snuck up on me. This guy just isn't. Whoa do 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 do. Everything good for the moment? Looks like it. Is everyone okay? I, I can't tell. There's a couple of people still alive. I think that's how many we're holding this line. It's taking a shot at me. All right, time to move. And that should probably finish it. Lower your arms, but be wary. Chance to catch a breath and prepare. All right, cool. We're gonna grab some supplies after that. Some medicinal salve brush. Mm. And whatever's in here. Yeah, potions. So do we just hold this position? I guess. That's the plan. This is interesting that we already killed Helis, by the way. That was the opening of this. I feel like... I kind of feel like that could have been, like, you know... Uh, more, like, right right before Hades had that happen. Kind of fire with, like, a shorter salvos, because these guys move fast. That was a cool combat roll you did. I don't remember how to kill these guys. So, I'm just gonna put a couple arrows in you. Oh god, you got that fire jump thing, right. Oh shit, it's, I, right, okay, they're really on my tail, really. And this guy is not dying. Oh, Jesus! This guy is not gonna die from me shooting arrows. Not quickly, anyway. Oh, where'd you come from? I don't know, but glad to have you here, dude. Oh, you must have switched positions? Okay, good. Both are still alive. I don't know if they have, like, NPC immortality. That would be sweet. Flyers! No way. Alright, this Deathbringer needs to go down first. Sorry, palm tree. Oh, shoot, let's get to this position back. Oh my god. Flint Hawks. It's such a bad fight. There we go. At least they do not like these. Yeah, okay, well, if they sit still like that, we can beans them. Uh, that was a little short again. Fire a little higher. Oh, shit, I see scarabs coming in. Oh, shit, he managed to get a freaking rocket off. Got waves of these animals coming in. I called them animals again. Is there another Deathbringer somewhere out there? I think there is. Oh, shoot! Oh, God, what the heck bombarded me? Damn it! I was doing pretty good, but suddenly just concentrated fire from everywhere. What was that that fired on me? Some nasty robot, of course, but... A wall in the attack! Lower your arms, but be wary! Yeah, yeah, so I see. So these are like checkpoints, these like moments of breathing. Got it, got it. Boy, this second wave's rough. Not as easy as wave one. Um, oh, yeah, let's. Okay, there weren't enough supplies to really 
craft anything crazy here, but... That's a little short. Oh no, that, that one guy got super beansed. No, you don't. Yeah. Oh my god, this Deathbringer. Oh, it's all the way up there on the hill. I wonder if there was one there that got me last round too with all that fire. They're looking a little hot under the gills there. Oops. Alright, how do I... So this guy moved up here again. I don't know why. Damn, those... There we go. That was a little close for comfort. A little short again. Oh god, these missiles. This is really rough. You can't, like, sit still to shoot at them. Oh, is this the flyers? This was such a bad wave. Alright, that's one down. Not Yes, down. Good. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure if I even hit it. Oh, that guy's not even hurt. Damn it. Damn it, I beans you like head on. Oh, Scarab incoming. It is actually a lot of dude. Oh, oh god, I wasn't listening to Aloy. Oh yeah, I should be laying traps around. That's true. It'd be a great time for some traps. Ugh. Oh, that's a scarab that's tossing rocks, isn't it? Oh god, there's someone right on my tail. There's a lot of guys right on my tail. Shut up, giant robot. Oof, okay, that was a little danger close, I admit. Oh no. A little short again. That's that's what's annoying here is like I can't like exactly I I don't have the time to like kind of range out. There's a second there's a second death bringer, no wonder this part's rough. Gotta get killed this guy real quick. That should probably hit. Still not dead. Oh, there we go. Dead crumbled. And this guy... ...is history. Alright, but this guy, uh, far away. Oh lord, look at that! That's so scary! That's not something I wanted to see. Not something I could conceive! I don't even know how I'm supposed to fight this thing. Uh oh, that was actually a... If I do say so myself, that was a pretty good... Damn it! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Oh shit, it's, it's gaining altitude. Yeah, I knew that's what it was going for. Let's keep you still for a hot second. Speaking of hot... It... Oh, not hot?
That would have been a great shot. Fine, this is what we're doing. Close range, motherfucker! Yeah! Oh no! Uh. Gotcha! Look at that shot! Wait, didn't I? Oh, come on! The perfect shot! Then. All right, fine. Not my cleanest fight, but you know what? Given what the opponent was, I will take it. And this guy did not help out at all. That shot of that corrupted Stormbird rising out of the smoke like that, that was pretty rad, gotta say. Oh no. That's a three, huh? Oh, no, that... Oh, okay. That kind of looked like we got buried for a sec there. Alright, well, I guess Ridge Fight was good. How are we going to win again? I'm confused. We need to shut down Hades, but how the heck do we do that part? Oh, never mind. Question is answered. That's hilarious. He's just being dragged in here. In this big kettle ball thing. <laughs> Aloy. Aloy. Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, were they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. Let's go! Follow the trail of destruction. Oh, we are super hurting. Did I really get that blasted at the last minute? I guess I... Wow, that's weird. I don't remember being that beat up. Okay. Also, that just fills my theory. Even though they hype up the Thunderjaw, the freaking Stormbird was the final enemy. You know, corrupted Stormbird. It was the final opponent. Just fills my theory that that's the best robot in the game. Or like the, 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 the beefiest robot. Oh, we're not going that way, huh? Okay, just gotta fill up my stores real quick. Too bad I couldn't, like... That was insane that I landed that shot on the fuel canister. Uh, while it was flying, no ropes on it. So sucks that I accidentally, this wheel, I hit the precision arrow rather than the fire arrow. Corrupted long leg. Okay, okay, people, people. Aloy, go. We'll draw them. Oh, okay. Uh, face their true sun shadow demons. Good, good luck then, I guess. Uh, I was about like I should probably help out here, but okay. I guess you're right. More important that I go take out Hades being dragged around by that. It shouldn't be funny, but it looked really silly that big Deathbringer lugging Hades around like that. Get to the spire and stop Hades! There's an exclamation point! That's how real this is. Yeah, but this part of the game is when I thought we'd be fighting Helis, you know, like... Enemies, then, like, like some big robot like we did. And then, you know, Helis, and then Hades. So, I'm very, I'm very surprised that the order was... Oh, what the? Shut down! Yeah, I'm kind of surprised on that front that the order was, you know, Helis is the first guy to go down. Maybe it's to sell how, you know, inconsequent he ultimately was. Jesus, did this thing just die here? Okay. As, you know, he was just a puppet of Hades all along, so... 
in the grand scheme of things, he is not that important, so... I suppose if you want to look at it that way. I really shouldn't be picking flowers while all of life is about to get erased by the big on switch on the killer robot army, but here I am with... Whoa! What the? Oh, I hit accidentally hit a pause on a freaking. I don't know how I did it's that. But... Hades is transmitting. Oh no! What no? It's even got color coded scary red color. <laughs> so. Oh my god! You guys see this? Should we like do something? Oh, what? That's how they... They just got crazy weird nano machines that they use to collect. Oh my goodness, I thought they like actually pick things up and stick it into a furnace, but that's really messed up. It must have gotten through the defenses. Oh shit, um... Exactly, I'm like, oh no! All the dudes, all the... Get up there. Yeah, yeah. Holy ass. And that hunter, uh, Thule, I think she was. Hope she's having the hunt of her life. Yeah, but uh, is there anything that can be... Can we still, like, flick the switch off? On, um... On, uh, the, the signal? I mean... Good I'd like to... Going. Keep pushing. I'd like to hope so, seeing as there is a sequel to this game. Easy. Yeah, you gotta have one, like, parkour segment here at the end. What's life without a little bit of parkour, huh? Oh boy. Oh, down here. Hey, you guys are okay! Aloy. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. My fight. I can't ask you to come with me. What? Why? We're about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. The metal devil must fall. I should stock up. Last chance. No kidding. Come on, baby. No, no worrying about inventory space now. Oh, no talking to our buddies? Okay. A lot of meats here. Let me see if I can do a little bit of crafting. Craft some health booth... Health booth persons. I've got five of them, so, yeah. Would have liked a little bit more potions for this fight, but here we are. I mean, it has a flamethrower, the, the Deathbringer, right? I don't remember what the Scarab does, so I guess I'll take that. I mean, oh boy. Alright, I guess we're going up. No, oh, we're climbing over there. Okay, I know what I'm doing, guys! Oh, no! I'm super ready for this. Last minute crafting? Man, it sucks that I can't make these precision arrows, but there's no wire anywhere. I'm just gonna have to make do with broadheads. Actually, regular arrows, too. I mean, they don't do a lot of damage, but they have a pretty good fire rate, so that's something. Alright. Arrival of Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. Ugh. To contrary, 
calculations are precise. Presence of entity has been accounted for. You got that right, huh? There you are. Oh, how kind of you to show me your big weak point right away. I'm gonna tie one down. That one will be yours. Let's quickly review our notebook. One last time. How did you fight Deathbringers? It's got the repeater cannon, is I guess the big gun at the front. Cooling rods will come out when it overheats. There's a big old core. It's got flamethrowers, got grenade launchers, heat vents when it overheats. Oh, hey, we are getting some backup. Thanks, guys. I was like, come on, we could get some help here, right? All right, first things first, let's heat things up for this guy. And also, let's get rid of some of those flamethrowers, yeah? No luck so far. Whoa! Oh! Come on! Alright. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't get outside that defensive wall ring, huh? <laughs> Aloy just lies down there. Oh, will heat overheat more quickly? If you destroy the parts, very interesting. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, yeah. Ow, stop it, stop it, stop it, you ugly machine. Oh, really, I just can't remove. So that just doesn't work on those. Okay, you just have to, I guess, use that. No, but a real, real thing here is we gotta put a bit of heat on this guy. Oh, now we just run. If, if those missile launchers are going off, we just need to. Oh shit! Ah, and you are cooking. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Right, it doesn't like actually stop its nonsense. Where's all my health potions? Wait a second, I, I, I like crafted a bunch of those. I really wish those things would disable already. Jesus! So much machine gun fire. I need to keep my distance because that's like really sustained fire just, just ripping me apart right there. I. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, what happened to all my potions? Come on now. Are you saying I have to go all the way back down here? They're alive. That's really... This is really awkward. This is a weird design thing. You had to climb back down to get these supplies. What happened right there? Okay. Well, now we have something. Anyway, let's... Yeah, I guess the flamethrower. We, we're not getting that close that the thing lights us up with the flamethrower, so... I think it's just the health potion that's going to be important here. But yeah, what a weird oversight that, that... Like, there's no checkpoint right here. Like, Get ready! It's a death bringer! Hell yeah, baby. On. What is this? Whoa, it's got like rail cannons on its back. That's a new one. Actually, that's fine, because that guy was taking forever. Yeah, that, 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 that. But I think we're getting a little too close here. See, it's, now it's using these fire bombs. So let's go this way. 
for a moment. Aaron, 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 you're kind of blocking my shine here. Execute. Big one wants a piece of you, Aloy. Take more than you to stop me. Oh, you're feeling the heat? Groovy. Oh, missiles! <laughs> oh, that's not good. Can't I just go over to, like, Hades right now and just stick the Master Override in him? Oh my god, this guy's taking so little damage. Like, I've blown up all of its weak points already, and it's still... I should get behind cover again. Oh, it's uh those heat rods actually stayed out really long that time. Cannot complain. Shit, machine guns going in. I gotta I gotta get something. I gotta get more distance. So it doesn't it's not in machine gun range. Or that like heat bomb thing. It's Oh my god, I just noticed. Look at that, there's a timer! Are you kidding me? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, nice. Oh, that hurt like a mother. I think it got its attention pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, but, but it's gun swivel back. Brought reinforcements? Oh, you cannot be serious right now. Big guy's still, like, on my ass. Well, we got it down to less than half health, so that's something. Oh, what the? Oh, I should have been paying attention. Guy was, like, showing its... Leg heaters. All of you, focus on the new machines. Yeah, you guys focus on this Ravager here. And meanwhile, the giant FU button is open. You stupid ass of a robot. Although this guy eats shots. Remember the first death, the first Deathbringer we fought must have been like a weaker model because I remember we shot that button and it just instantly exploded. Alright. Oh, look at how it's overheating now, though. They really weren't lying about that whole business. Help me bring it down. We got you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, God! This is nuts! And these robots aren't helping things. Oh, I'm way too close! Alright. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? Yeah, put you on fire a bit. Oh god, it's using the rail cannon. It's knocked out! Yeah. Come on! Oh, okay, but we're getting there, we're getting there. But damn, this, these, these robot allies... This is a tight squeeze. Oh, it's firing, it's firing missiles, firing missiles. Just focus on getting to the distance. Ooh, you are looking a little hot under the collar, my robotic friend. God. 
Damn. Missiles incoming! Looks like I'm all out of health items. Is there anything, any boxes I could put? Medicinal South Brush, that's something. We got like six minutes still, so we're taking a quick break to like collect supplies here. Jesus. All right. This one's persistent. Fire on her attacker. I'm gonna tie one down. Yeah. I need you to sit down, sir. Damn it. Oh. I'm getting knocked around here. Everyone, quickly. There we go. God damn it, my health is like completely down. Hey, I'm I'm healing? How is that happening? Oh, because you can I guess if you have critical health. You, you like restore from critical health? Is all I can think of what happened there. Stop, don't, don't stop when you're picking up health like that. Five minutes, five minutes is all I can spare to play with you. I'm all out of fire stuff. Which means we need to start being drastic here. Here we go! This is better damage. <gasps> Got it! Eat she taki mushrooms. System threat imminent. You got that right, baby. Purge Hades. Oh, no, oh, no. What a freaking final fight. That was sick. Except, what's Hades gonna do now? We're gonna have a quick spirit fight? in the cyberspace. Oh. Master Override Arm. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging extinction protocol. Okay. Whew. I guess I guess you can still turn it off. Ooh, that was cutting it close, wasn't it? Wow, sick. We just get the... Oh. Bask in salvation. Woo. Yeah, my boy. And my other boy. You're all my boys. Oh, that's cute.
Dialogue 3 February, 3rd February, okay, 2065. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query, what did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something, to serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious. and willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to... heal the world. Just a little bit. That's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Wow. Oof. Oh, okay, I was like unsure for a second was these like dynamic credits that now started, but that's exactly what this is. Wow, that was the ending, huh? Okay. Really good actually still ending. I like like a little longer form endings, of course, but I think that got the point and the punch and left a lot open for what's gonna happen in the future. Can't complain. And I can't complain about this game. Wow, um, it was <laughs> really freaking good. Um, I imagine, you know, a lot of people are saying, because this game was ported to the PC, like, you know, last year, a lot of people were suggesting that Sony's main uh, motivation for doing this big Sony PC port push thing was to basically sell PS5s by letting you play this game and being like, well, don't you want to play Forbidden West next, out only on PS5? And after this, yeah, like, I get that. I'm not enough that I'm going to jump and go get one, because, uh... But, like, boy, did I enjoy that. And the vibes of this game and all the world and everything. And, uh, yeah, freaking great freaking game. So let's crack down on it. The story is, like, incredibly good. It's so fascinating, the way you deal with two worlds as you explore the remains of the old, but then you still deal with the, like, stuff of the, like, current day and the politics and you kind of understand what's going on with the world. And it's fascinating how it raises a lot of feelings in you. As a, as a member of the old ones, we, the people playing this game, and we're, like, looking into this, like, like fictional future where we don't exist anymore and these are like our descendants and it like really makes you like question stuff and like feelings and like because sometimes i've 
Because I, I, I'm not going to lie. At times I was like, well, what does all of this manufactured business m matter? With, like all these like societies that are, exist now because it's just the... the it, it's not what we're connected to. But I think that was only for a fleeting moment and then I'd feel like... You know, kind of guilted myself and compassion for these people because that was the ultimate still lesson about us like really feeling for these people in the future who carry on humanity. You know, I, I don't know, I'm being really... This game makes me all, like, really wistful and poetic, so I'm, I speak a lot of nonsense, I understand. But, like, it the way it makes me feel like stuff, like, oh, well, what the... Wow, that's that's huge, that's epic, and... Then also, like, wow, this... What's the... It's kind of like that existential, like, what's the point? And then just immediately know there super is a point when you, like, get into, like, all these wonderful characters. Some really stellar writing. Uh, cannot complain about side quests being boring. There were some that were get 20 animal skins type quests, but there was a lot of really strong writing there. The Shadow Carja Romeo and Juliet thing, as much as on the nose as it was with the Romeo and Juliet motive, was really strong. Um, Aaron and Ursa's story was great. Uh, the Banuk thing I loved so much, like I said. That Banuk Valley just... Just like a glimpse into that culture. Just like a glimpse into like understanding what those people are like and just being like, that's so interesting. It was all great. Uh, stellar story. I don't know what I would complain about with the story off the top of my head. I talked a little bit about how deified um, Sobek is as a character. One of those, like, did she have any faults? But then I, like, I figured out that that's me being, like, I feel like I'm being shitty on that front. Like, you see her vulnerability as well, honestly, when she's talking about how rough the mission is to, like, save the world. And on the other hand, like, Gaia loved Sobek, so a little bit of, like, deification kind of feels sensible. Not to mention it's Aloy's mother figure in a way, even more so than Gaia. So, like, yeah, yeah, I don't think that that's just me actually being a dingus. Uh, I mean, you know, like, I, I that, that, uh, that's me being kind of crummy just being like, is this character too perfect, which is, uh, I, I've done that before where I've been like, is this character a Gary Stu or a Mary Sue or a boring isekai hero, I've, and then immediately I'm like, I don't feel right making that claim, even if um, I feel like there's some substance there, so I think I'll, I'll cut that sh thought short right here. And, you know, Helis being such a small thing at the end, just a tough boss, eh, I don't know. Again, like I said, he was just being manipulated by Hades, so in a way I like that he just was there and died so quickly. I don't know. But yeah, the storytelling, the way it's told, where you, like, learn the, like, phases of the end of the world, bit by bit, and then you try to understand what's going on in present day by, like, reflecting on what the events of the past were. What a delightful puzzle this story was to, like, solve. Mm. Gameplay, ugh. Well, I'm actually, I'm gonna talk about the bad first in the gameplay. And it's not really bad, like, it served my purposes, but, like, I can see this being a thing which, like, if they don't, like, fix this for Forbidden West, it's gonna, like, lead to some, like, negative reviews. Uh, at the time of recording, Forbidden West still hasn't released, but it'll be out by the time this episode is, for sure, for sure. Uh, and that's the, like, super basic Far Cry-ish open-world stuff. You know, it, the world is captivating, but underneath its captivation, it's like, you know, that it's still sticking to that kind of limited, like, traversal of, like, a pre-Breath of the Wild era. And um, the, the, the quests are great with the story writing, but then, like, the actual, you know, the actual, like, exploring the world, it seems to be a little bit of that same open worldliness I didn't mind it because of the aforementioned um, aforementioned like captivating world and because I you know I like playing games like those every once in a while I haven't played one like that in a like a good long while so it's not like I'm like I'm sick of this kind of stuff but I can't not at least address the fact that this isn't like a revolutionary new open world thing on that like like exploration and world building stuff in front. I gotta call that out. And I imagine, like, I imagine in a, in a post-Breath of the Wild world, um, 
you know, post Genshin Impact, post what was it, Immortals was that one game. I, I imagine like if, if if Horizon Forbidden West doesn't like op open up with a little bit more exploration options, a little bit more traversal ability, it, that's gonna that's gonna land a little badly, I'm sure. Now, what's fantastic about the gameplay is the freaking combat, and that's amazing how I feel embarrassed by those early episodes where I was so frustrated by my ineptitude. And that, in this case, it absolutely was my ineptitude for, like, not really trying to buy brute force by, like, just fighting them straight on the enemies when it's so obvious that you need to think about all the weaknesses and, like, kind of um, tricks and traps that you can take them down. And uh, it's it's, and I, I watched a bit of Jesse Cox's early episodes. Not all of them because I didn't want to get any spoilers. But like I, I dare to watch a little bit of like from early game when I know that I you know had played past that part because I know this is like one of Jesse Cox's favorites, and he was doing the very same thing. Like and I saw a lot of comments. <laughs> people in comments being like, come on, Jesse, get your shit together. And I was like, oh, God, I'm I'm the same way, aren't I? I'm just an embarrassment to watch in my bad gameplay. Um, you know, I've talked in past about the f f phrase hard but fair that a lot of, like, like, like gamers like to use. And, like, uh, I've always talked about, like, I've been on a little bit of a critical take of that phrase. Because um, I've always... It's always felt so arbitrary to me, and I'm not going to get into all of that right now. But I will say that I think this one really kind of exemplifies that a little bit. Because you can see, like, once the... Yo, Ludwig for And Hideo Kojima... Oh, right, because the whole... <laughs> That's really funny. The the This game is partly on PC because of Death Stranding, so that's really cute that they got a little nod there. Our amazing cosplayers and fan artists, we love you. Aww! That's really nice. That made me really happy to see that little thanks there. Cute. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I think this game actually you could kind of in a way describe as hard but fair. Because I got my ass kicked, my ass kicked, my ass kicked. Until I kind of figured out how the gameplay works. And it's not like I ever was like, like feeling superior powerful to the enemies. But... I had a fighting chance once I finally understood how to, like, really properly use, like, tear blast arrows and, like, remove parts on enemies and, like, aim for those weak points. Aw, thank you for making this game. This was a delight, freaking gorilla. Hope uh, Forbidden West does get a PC port someday. I'll sit my ass down and probably play that as well, although I might just watch a playthrough if someone's gonna be playing that. Kind of looking forward to that. Oh, PC credits. Okay, because that original animation was just for... <laughs> was just for uh, the original version. But there's a little bit of more people who worked on the PC port, so we gotta give them something as well here. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, the combat is very cool. Like, the, the enemies are fantastic in their variedness. I guess towards the end I start to notice they're not that varied. Like, there's three types of weak points. The little canisters... And there's, like, weapons you aim to knock off. But some of them have, like, really interesting attacks. The big enemies, the, the behemoth, and the stormbird. Oh, stormbird! Oh, I gotta hype up the stormbird real quickly, because that was a fantastic moment of gameplay combining into, like, being a... Telling a story. Uh, like, a, like a proper, like, story arc, in a way, with this, 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 this uh, stormbird business. Because... Um, and, and it was pure by accident. Because... The first time I met the Stormbird, just see it flying from afar, being like, oh my god. That was when we were going to go after Derval, if you remember, to save Ursa in the, in, the, in the hinterlands in the north. You just see this majestic beast from afar, and I'm just like, no way, I am not fighting this thing. And I'm just like keeping far away, I'm like, no chance of taking this thing on. Later on in the game, second encounter. Stormbirds like just flying over the desert and I'm like sneaking underneath like some kind of like mouse trying to avoid a falcon and we get to actually see the Stormbird's awesome power when it attacks some of those machines I um I uh you know overrid. So second appearance of Stormbird Again, just like not ready to fight it, but we get to like actually like tense, like actually like an encounter with it, but we're still not good enough to like fight it, so I'm still it's just that like a trying to survive by like sneaking past it cool stuff 
Then, near the end of the game, Stormbird shows up. Actual boss fight. No more, like... No more, like, beating around the bush. It's time to go, and at that point, you as the player have gotten good enough by playing the game to be like, let's go, I can fight this giant bird. And that's what we did, and it was fantastic. And then almost as, like, a little, like, connect there at the, at the end, just, like, a little, like, you know, like, footnote, Corrupted Stormbird shows up as an ancillary during the final fight, like, increased badass version of the Stormbird, but it's, like... Not exactly an afterthought, but it's just like one part of the bigger threat. It's not no longer the like awe. I'm sorry, it was awe inspiring when it rose out of that smoke, but it's not like the number one like thing to be scared of. So, what a fantastic like story arc around this one character that purely naturally formed in this game. I'm gonna remember that to the end of my days how, how like exhilarating it was to like deal with the Stormbird in this game. Freaking 10 out of 10 for that enemy. Alright, presentation. Um, everything's great. <laughs> it's beautiful, but okay, so I didn't see some flickering textures every once in a while. Um, I've seen a lot of people mention that baby Aloy, you know, child Aloy looks creepy. <laughs> I actually kind of missed that, but I guess I can see that, so I guess maybe character models are a little weird sometimes. I don't know. Robot design, fantastic. Love these robots, and especially... I love how the pharaoh robots clearly are so different from the animal robots, which signifies why they're a different thing altogether. You will recall back when the Corruptor first showed up and like an episode or two later, I'm like, it's interesting how this thing is not an animal and it just has a different vibe from the other animal robots. So there's something else going on here. Correct. Once you learn about pharaoh, it's very clear that they're a different breed from the other robots. So, great design on that front. Music... Pretty good. Gets its job done. Um, I think I actually, yeah, it's actually fine that it's like this orchestral music rather than like any like video gamey music in it. Like too video gamey. I'm, I'm fine with that. This was, this was, this was kind of a big splashy show off game. I'm, I'm fine with the, having the more orchestral stuff. I'm still not going to say it's the most memorable memorable soundtrack I've ever listened to, so I'm not... I'm not a hundo if I, like, uh... If I'm, like, uh, gonna look up songs from this game ever. Actually, the final fight music was pretty good. I really liked that, that song, and it seemed to swell at times while we were fighting that final Deathbringer. That nah, was pretty good stuff. You know what? Yeah, that was a good song. I'll probably look that up as leads. But, like, you know, I'm thinking, like, God of War was also, uh, you know, heavy orchestral soundtrack. I'm talking 2018, God of War. Heavy orchestral soundtrack. But there's specific tunes I remember fondly from that. Um, the song Deliverance, which is in all the Baldur fights. Fantastic. Um, the, 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 the throwbacks to old God of War during certain, like pivotal scenes, great stuff. Like, that soundtrack, like, you know, in comparison with this one, I'm like, it was fine, I loved listening to it, but I can't say I'm, like, super, super, like, crazy about the soundtrack here. No. Nah. Alright, um, favorite protagonist? Um, Erend was a joy. I, I, I don't know why I'm always like, I don't want to say the main character. I mean, Aloy is excellent, so I guess Aloy's the best protagonist. Like, what a great character. The, 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 like, contrast between her and Sobek is fantastic. Her, like, headstrongness is really cool, but she's, like, still, like, like a really smart character, and it's, it's, it's all good stuff. Really cool character. I really like her. Uh, Erend, though, what a, what a, my heart goes out to Erend so hard. I, it, I, I mentioned, again, I mentioned how interesting it was that he's, he seemed like the coolest guy in the world when we met him in the Nora town, because to Aloy, to some extent, Aloy and her, like, wonder, lust, and curiosity of the world, this guy from the outside is a really cool guy. And then we see the real Erend once we get to town, where he's, you know, he's a, he's a vulnerable man, in, in, you know, in dire straits, and it's just like, the game doesn't shit on him for that. It, the game asks for us to feel for him and his troubles, and I I love the guy. So great, great guy, that Aaron. I think I saw him in a, 
bit of a trailer for Forbidden West, so I'm really happy if he shows up in Forbidden West again. That that lovable Baluk. My favorite villain. Um. Oh gosh. The villain game wasn't super strong in this. <laughs> Hades is is a good villain that gets the job done, but like, eh, eh, I don't know. Helis, I think, was a little undersold, and I did kind of try to explain why he's maybe a little undersold. Because he's just a big pawn in the big game, doesn't understand what's going on. But I think still he he's a little too too small of a part of everything to um. B B B B B B. Uh, my favorite villain, but who else would I put if not Helis or Hades? I mean, that scene in uh, Sunfall with Helis, that was pretty good. His dumb rant in 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 in, in the while we were in the cage. I mean, it was pretty dumb what he said, but it was still pretty good. Like I don't know, it was good. No, I just realized who the best villain is. Why am I so blind? Ted Farrow is the best villain, of course. Everything's his fault. He is like this amazing takedown on like douche de tech bros. And his insanity at the end where he like flips out and is like, let's destroy Apollo just makes him even worse. Oh my God, how could I have forgotten about Ted Farrow, the worst guy? No, but he's great as a villain. Like as an, as, 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 as an insufferable villain character, he's a really good choice, yeah. And to some extent, like I, I, I can I can see a guy like going nuts after what he had caused, and like like I, I can to some extent understand, though like still be angry at the guy. But I can understand why he flipped out at the end there and deleted Apollo. Sure, sure. Why he killed those alphas? That sucks. That sucks so bad. That guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, cool. Ted, Ted Farrow's the best villain just because I'm so mad at him. Oh, and the best robot was the Stormbird. I already explained why, so we're not gonna rehash that. Come on, that was awesome! Fighting the Stormbird was so sick after all that build-up. You have to agree, right? Yeah. If someone says Thunderjaw, I get that. The Thunderjaw is pretty badass too. So like, I get if someone's if that's someone's favorite robot. And the Deathbringer is an amazing design. As this Chunk Lord robot. So those are all great. There's so many great robots. I said to my friend uh, Jonathan that I thought my favorite was the uh, the the long leg, the the, the the ostrich robot. It's still pretty good because I think it's fun. But no, Stormbird is the winner for me personally. Oh gosh, funniest moment. What did I laugh at at the hardest in this game? I don't remember. The thing is, as great as this plot is, it's so grim that I end up just... I don't end up having much of a laugh at anything. I remember at some point just being like... <laughs> like, I do remember having those moments, but they're completely blank now. What was there something that I really laughed at? I don't... I don't know. Maybe Aloy hugging Tirsa? I mean, that was adorable. I'm not, like, laughing because it's, like, dumb. But, like, it's also just, like, that, like, Aloy showing that much, like, affection for somebody who's not Rost. And Tirsa's surprise. It's hard to fight against. That was really cute. I really like that. I really like that a lot. Okay, Travis Tate, just looking back now, as annoying as he was, his antics and his nonsense were kind of funny too. Come on. Okay, fine. I'll I'll give that. I'll I'll extend this fig leaf to to all olive branch. What the fig leaf? I'm an idiot. I'll extend this olive branch to Travis Tate. <laughs> he was pretty funny in the end. Alright. You you win, you 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 weird Pasolini watching <laughs> nutbag. <laughs> I think we're done with the uh, review. I would normally end here, but I want to do some quick guesses really quickly what was going on, because they didn't answer what went Hades go nuts and the rest of the support programs. And I had a crazy theory for this one that I want to put down now. As mentioned, so I, I know I can't prove this in any way, but like this is recording before Forbidden West has released, so I have no spoilers about Forbidden West. I have not looked up anything about it. This is my crazy speculation here. I think 
what caused Hades to go nuts was other humans somewhere on Earth or possibly off Earth. Humans descended from the original humans, not the ones bred by Zero Dawn. I think... It, it, because I, I think this would make a fantastic enemy for Forbidden West, which would, like, really make things, uh... Really, 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 uh... Make things, like, an interesting question of, like, questioning, like, you know, hum like us, the way we see each other and everything. If there were survivors of the original humans who perhaps wanted to wipe out these, what they may, as giant assholes, consider, uh you know, inferior humans, fake humans, you know, all that, like, kind of, like, that negative feeling that you might get that, you know, even I, at times, you know, had that, like, knee-jerk of, like, but these aren't, these aren't the original people, so, but that doesn't, of course, count for anything, because they, you know, they're people, and they're super important, but maybe there could be, like, survivors who, um, who, uh, you know, have grown to be like all like scornful about these fake humans, quote unquote fake humans, and then that, that's why they wanted to wipe away all of humanity by letting you know Hades unleashed, stop Gaia, break Gaia down, you know, let Hades get to work killing humans, the fake people, and then once Hades was done, they'd like turn him back off. Maybe that's my crazy guess. Here's some voice actors here, just quickly. Look at these names. I've mentioned some of these. Yo, what Crispin Freeman was Helis. And Josh Keaton was a VOD? Uh, 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 ooh. Sorry, I'm... Bryce Pappenbrook was bossed. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, sorry, I'm trying to... I'm trying to process that. Yeah, he was Crispin Freeman, was he list. Now I can hear his voice when I think back to him. Being like, Look to the sun as you die. That was Crispin Freeman, but... Josh Keaton as a VOD? I didn't know he could make that voice. I would never, never, never have guessed that was Josh Keaton. And I didn't know Josh Keaton... I was still doing it. I haven't heard Josh Keaton in anything for ages. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Thank goodness I we waited until the credits here so I could see these, uh... You know, these titles here. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so, yeah, so, okay, that's my crazy theory. And I'm thinking in, in, in Forbidden West we're gonna, like, see these, like descendants of original humans and we're gonna have some like real moral debate about what makes a human and like well i mean there's not gonna be a debate obviously because these guys are wrong but i mean like we're gonna have to like at least like that's something that the game's gonna like talk about you know i don't if the game is actually gonna try and make me be like mm, yeah but maybe these aren't actual people that's gonna fly against everything this game th thought taught and it's gonna make me so angry that i'm just gonna be like not be happy so I don't think they're going to do that, but I think that could be an interesting angle. Maybe, like, we would have to, like, you know, accept the civilians of these, like, survivor humans, because they're probably, no, they're not all monolithically evil, even if they, like, think that we are all monolithically, like, inferior. Yo, Cam Clark and Doug Cockle were doing additional voices in this game. And uh, Ben Diskin, I know that name too, but freaking Cam Clark and Dog Cockle, that's uh, Liquid Snake and Geralt, and they weren't even, like, Major... And Richard Epcar and Yuri Lowenthal! And I'm, I'm, now I'm just glued with these names, like, hold the freaking... Laura Post! Patrick Seitz! Roger Craig Smith! What are, what are all these voices? Why were- what the- what, uh, blah, 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 uh, Wow, this is amazing. Sorry. I'm geeking out over voice actors here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Get back to my thought. So that would be super interesting, like, stuff, I think, for- for that game. Like, Robbie Damon- oh, but this is the Frozen Wilds, okay. I, maybe. And Shirami Lee- did I say that right? Shirami Lee- I- I'm sorry. I probably mispronounced that. I'm sorry. And Jennifer Hale, oh my god. Wow, this Frozen Wilds has some great voices as well. <laughs> and Le Liam O'Brien sneaks in. And Kirk Thornton, oh my, it's... And Kaiji Tang is in there too? Oh my goodness. What an all-star voice cast for this game. I'm like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like so... I'm so giddy at all these voices. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry, sorry, uh, 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 So, let's say that that's my theory for that's, that's what caused the 
Hades and all the other servitor programs, servitor AIs to go nuts. But of course, you're, 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 you've got a quick question against me that's like, how could there be survivors of humanity when the swarm killed everybody? Well, I was thinking this because, you know, you remember I was talking about like um, how we shouldn't like we shouldn't like poo poo these. Um, it, it's a very like kind of like modern society take to be like this um, less technologically advanced society is somehow like less good than us and they should like have you know they should like just just like it would be better off having our knowledge and ultimately the game the game's lesson is that it is awful that we missed out on the knowledge of the ancients but the game is still like giving a strong vote of confidence in favor of the uh of the new humans and them being like they, they are you know great like this you know they, they, as, a society, as a society, they are all already, like, they have their good and their bad, but they aren't, like, some kind of inferior in some kind of, like, modern viewpoint of ours. Well, I was also thinking, it's a very uh, Western-specific thought to be, like, that, oh, well, it could only be the this American this American scientist funded by this American company and the U.S. government who could come up with the only answer to save humanity. I mean, maybe there were other world superpowers who worked out some answer, because we never see any of the world outside of this tiny chunk of uh, North America. Maybe some other society in those days when society was collapsing with the swarm going nuts, maybe they found a way to like survive in a bunker which could sustain people over the hundreds of thousands of years or you know long enough or survive long enough for Gaia to do its terraforming you know maybe like a foreign power spied on Zero Dawn was like okay we just need to build like stasis pods or like underground survival bunkers and survive until Gaia gets its work done and then we can come out in the world and we can get rid of these upstart humans that's like my that's that's like my crazy guess is like that's that's my theory and, and 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 like i said like that's that would be an interesting like make you go like oh yeah well you know sure uh dr sobek had the answer but that wasn't the only answer and these people were able to work out another answer i don't think it would be an ass pull in my mind i think some people might say that that's the kind of like lessening the drama of humanity being wiped out and, you know, like, just kind of being an ass pull to, like, add new enemies. I don't think so. I, th I think that would be an interesting take. The other option is, um, I think it was called the Odyssey, was that shuttle that was supposed to, like, go on a big colony ship journey to another star, but it blew up. What if it did not? What if that was faked, the ship blowing up? What if that ship survived in the solar system? Like, they never left left um, the solar system. They were like, nope. Like, maybe they were able to... Because, you know, we have real-life stories of, like, astronauts figuring out some crazy ways to survive in their, like... You know, the, their, like, space stations and stuff, dealing with problems. With the future tech of the setting of Zero Dawn, you know, those final days... Maybe they actually worked out in orbit how to survive on their ship. Like, instead of leaving the solar system, they just remained, let's say, in, like, orbiting the moon or something. And, you know, they just survived that way. And now, now that Gaia is done terraforming the Earth, they're like, well, now we just gotta clean up these fake humans. Again, quote-unquote fake from their like, elitist standpoint, and they, like, come over and, like, re recolonize the Earth. And maybe that's what happens in Forbidden West. So that would also be an interesting way to take the story. And they were kind of hinting at it here with that one um, Dr. Sobek um, journal entry where she was talking about, like, what are those people going to be like? What is their society going to be like? I'm, I'm scared of what it's going to turn into. And that seems like that would be already foreshadowing the, like, arrival of the, like, morally corrupt uh, Odyssey people from space in, like, a, in, like, a future sequel. That's an also a really good, like, way to take the story. So, yeah, um, that's my crazy theory. That's the one I've been sitting on for a few episodes now that I wanted to... I didn't want to go talking about that too. I didn't want to froth about it like I've been doing right now. 
just in case this game actually answered the question and I just look like an idiot talking about it. And you know what? Maybe this game does answer the question in like some obscure side quest or something that I missed. I feel like this game wouldn't with its like strong narrative. I don't think they would have left a big narrative point like that hidden. I think they would have addressed it if they meant to. So I, I'm thinking that's like fodder for the sequel. And that's why I'm like, ooh, let me give my crazy idea. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to see if that pays off. If like that's going to be like a plot point in Forbidden West is like, you know, actual survivors of original humanity showing up and then dealing with like the, the like ramifications and the fallout of all of that and fighting for survival. But now you're fighting against fellow man, which you already were doing in this game, but it's just going to feel different, you know, it's going to feel like a different stakes to it. Wow, these credits are long, huh? So I'm scared of press pressing F to skip because I'm afraid we're going to skip if there's any like end, end, end skit, like, you know, a stinger. But I feel like modern, like like people these days, developers know that players don't want to watch these, so they wouldn't do that for us. So I think we're going to hit F to skip now, because I'm done talking. Like, I, I went on a tangent with that crazy theory of mine, because I've been sitting on it, but now I'm done. So let's hit the F and see what happens. Ah, all right. Got it. Whew. Oh, you know what? I gotta say one more thing once we're done here. I just now realized looking at Hades. Oh god, speaking of Hades. Wait, what the... That's kind of... Mm. So is this, is this Hades, basically, and... Oh. Oh, old friend. Remember me. We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Oh my god! Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. Oh my god! What is this? All right, so at first I was like, okay, well, that's kind of boring if Hades just, like, escapes and becomes, like, some Dr. Claw returning villain all the time. But then, okay, that's interesting. And the game itself was like, hey, that plot point that never got uh, answered, here we go. <laughs> cool, cool stuff. And Silence being, okay, that's more interesting now that Silence has Hades like, caught and is apparently gonna do some really awful stuff, apparently. <laughs> that had some villain vibes there, so... I guess I can live with Silence being a villain as well, sure. Oh, okay, let's see. Congratulations on defeating Hades and protecting Gaia's dream of an Earth reborn. Well, thank you. The state of the world has been restored to just before the looming shadow, prior to the final battle for Meridian. You keep all loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Additionally, New Game Plus has been unlocked, granting the option to play the game again from the beginning with all the loot and skills you have accumulated throughout this playthrough. A New Game Plus loadout of your current inventory and skills has been created. To play in this mode, simply choose the New Game Plus option in the main menu. You can also create new loadouts via the pause menu in the game. Thank you for playing, the Horizon team. Alright, so here we are. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, here we are again. World's back to being okay-ish, I guess. Yay. So do we still have... What is this? Hold on. Go to the Palace of the Sun? What is this quest we're doing? Oh, it's just the start of the Looming Shadow. Okay, for a second I thought, like... Because it said that we finished the final quest, that this was some... Okay, but no. We're, we're, this is exactly where we left off, but we're just done with the quest. Got done with the game, yeah. Good stuff. I like that. It was a good game. Hooray. I think I would recommend you play this game. If, if you haven't been able to tell, I really did like it. And if you have a PS5, I guess I would recommend checking out Forbidden West. It, it, it's exciting to see where the story goes from here. 
It is going to have to go to new places because we can't play with the mystery of the old world anymore. We know everything that happened to cause the apocalypse and, you know, what uh, what 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 caused this all to happen. Like, they cannot repeat that anymore unless they come up with some new, like, thing. You know, some new thing that people were working on back in the old days. So, so they can come up with some of that, but I think they're also going to have to, like come up with something a little bit more than just simply, like, let's wonder through the game about what caused all of this. Although, like I said, you know, if, if you like those thoughts I was tossing, that's an interesting angle to take with having the uh, new humans confront survivors of the old humans. I think that would be an interesting place to take the plot. I realize it's dumb of me to suggest this at this hour when the game is about to come out. Like, it's not like they're gonna rewrite the plot for that game, but... Eh. If not in Forbidden West, maybe in a For Horizon 3 one day might be something to explore? No, 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 never know. Oh, honestly, the writers, I'm sure, have thought about all of this a long time ago. It's completely idiotic of me to, like, be tossing these ideas around, like, as if I was going to listen. But I like, I, I really like, because it was such a great game for speculating, I really like doing some speculatory things of my own here. Yeah. All right, that's it all for me for today. Sick game. Um, gonna have to think a bit about what's gonna come next week. But 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 there'll be something, so don't worry about that. It'll it'll happen. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you loved this game as much as I did. Uh, and uh, stay safe. See ya. Goodbye.